but you're so pretty Paige. Like, you know, Thank like you. you don't want to mess up your face. Like, I, and I, I know you're a fighter, you know, and you've been cut before we've seen you in these UFC fights, Yes. but, but, the, but my question, why do you have to choose? Like, why would you have to be either beautiful or tough? Like, why do those two things not go together? Like those are the same. They're like, they're, they're synonyms. Beautiful and strong are the exact same. Paige Van Zandt has been one of the most influential MMA fighters in the media. She has left the UFC now, but her following continues to grow. Let's take a gander at the 27 year old star's earnings and lifestyle. Number five, she has made more money from social media than her UFC career. All right, so this one's a no-brainer. Van Zant has a record of eight wins and five losses, which means two things. The UFC has tough competition, and that she's definitely no Amanda Nunes. However, Van Zant does have more fans than some undefeated fighters. This is because of her massive fan following, as she proved early on in her fighting career that she was a pretty face with an energetic personality that could hang around in the sport. At the time this video is being recorded, Van Zant has about 35,000 subscribers on her YouTube, and the five figures in there. She has 340,000 followers on Twitter, 1.1 million followers on her Facebook page, and finally, a whopping 2.8 million followers on her Instagram. With figures like these, PVC could promote paint thinner if she wanted to, and it would still generate a ton of leads. Amongst the brands she promotes are MVMT accessories and the well-being brand Vitagoods. She has also promoted hemp and CBD products from companies like Sun Valley Science and Bespoke Extracts. She has also modeled for Nike and Columbia Sportswear while fighting in UFC. Van Zant, who made her UFC debut in 2014, soon became a part of the grim Reebok era, of the company which cost the fighters a lot of money. However, she became part of an exclusive group of fighters to sign an individual deal with MMA's most hated apparel company. John Jones, Ronda Rousey, and Conor McGregor were the other fighters that had similar deals, which puts BBC amongst the greats in her own right. It's just awesome to think that I can be next to John Jones and Conor McGregor, and um, I'm just blessed to be a part of this company. We just really had a connection, and that's when they decided to pick me up as an athlete, and it's been awesome ever since. Keep watching to see which small MMA organization paid her more than the UFC. Number four, she made more money from Dancing with the Stars than her UFC career. So, we continue with the theme of bashing the UFC for not paying their fighters well. One of Van Zant's biggest accomplishments are her exploits in ABC's hit TV show, Dancing with the Stars. This entry again puts Paige amongst the MMA greats in her own right. She joined the cast of season 22 and became the third UFC fighter and the first female fighter to appear on the show. Who were the other two fighters? The first one was former UFC light heavyweight champion Chuck Liddell whose iconic and unbreakable chin couldn't save him from finishing in 11th place in Season 9. The second fighter was the legendary Randy Couture, who was champion in the UFC's heavyweight and light heavyweight divisions. Still, he finished in 11th place in Season 19. PVC, on the other hand, represented MMA way better than the mentioned UFC Hall of Famers. She had grown up dancing in Dayton, Oregon, where her parents owned a dance studio. So after 10 weeks of intensive dancing, Paige and her partner finished in second place in the competition, after losing a split decision to the winners. But the real story in all of this is when Van Zant mentioned that she made more money in a few weeks of Dancing with the Stars than she had made in her entire UFC career. Van Zant then said that she was gonna take up the free agency after her then upcoming fight against Amanda Rebus. Hopefully uh, that means us other fighters are gonna get a little bit bigger paychecks. Uh, definitely going through Dancing with the Stars, I got to see how much other, other athletes out there make and uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't make that much money. She sure stuck by her word. Stick around for two interesting fun facts about Paige. Fun facts about Paige Van Zandt. Fun fact number one. 
No one likes to lose, and no one especially likes to be knocked out. However, losses are a big part of MMA, and with five on her record, Van Zant is no stranger to the concept. However, with three coming via submission and two via decision, she actually hasn't been knocked out yet in her professional career, which is certainly a feather in her cap at the very least. Fun fact number two. She has headlined two cards. Despite not yet contending for a world title in the UFC, Van Zandt has actually been given the honor of headlining a Fight Night card on two separate occasions. The first was in Vegas against Rose Namajunas, and the second was against Michelle Waterson in Sacramento. This just shows how much Van Zandt is in demand. Number three. She made more money from BKFC than her UFC career. It's safe to say that the UFC only hyped up PVC instead of paying her well. So naturally, she decided she wanted to be elsewhere. Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship scooped her up with a $1 million deal instead of Bellator FC, where her undefeated husband fights. Now hold up. Van Zant had said that fighting in the UFC wasn't worth the risk. So what about BKFC, where there are less strict rules and no gloves to protect the fighters' faces? Well, she revealed that the answer was money. Van Zant said that she fought in the UFC for six years, getting paid $40,000 to show up and double the amount to win. But now, she was offered 10 times that money. If we take her words literally, which most MMA journalists did, PVZ allegedly made about $400,000 for her BKFC debut against Britton Hart on February 5th. If this is true, then she just didn't make money. She made CM Punk type money. Van Zant also claimed to have joined BKFC for her love of the sport, which is something that no one doubts, as she doesn't need it to pay the bills. She did lose her first match, but she's still getting the idea and can land more wins moving forward. My husband was kind of disappointed. Of course, he wanted me to sign with Bellator. It's pretty well known. I mean, he fights for Bellator. It was like this idea of us fighting together. Yeah, it would be magical, you know, it'd be a, a really big deal. But, you know, I had to go where my passion lied. And, and this is the one that excited me. Like, this makes me feel like a badass. This is, this is that one that was like, I want to, I want to do that. The main thing is that she's in an organization that respects her. Keep watching to know about Paige's cool interests. Number two, her hobbies. Van Zant is anything but dull. She works and trains hard in fitness, which she always posts pictures of. She also loves dogs and owns an American Eskimo Chihuahua named Dennis. She also really likes to cook and says that she would have loved to make a career out of it. Van Zant even took part in and won an episode of Chopped by cooking against other celebrities. Despite seeming like the typical girl next door, Van Zant is a tried and tested tomboy. She loves to ride dirt bikes, which is something that she has done since childhood. Paige considers herself an adrenaline junkie and got an ATV four-wheeler when she was just eight years old. She got a dirt bike soon after and prefers those due to their higher speed, power, and better accessibility for stunts. Van Zant says that she can ride bikes well as she practiced on her grandparents' farm stretching across 20 acres. She and her family did a lot of trail riding, and she even had her own Yamaha TTR 230. Van Zant can climb rock walls and do all sorts of crazy stuff with dirt bikes. This skill of hers factored well in the UFC, which has been partnered with Harley-Davidson motorcycles for more than a decade now. She has and continues to post pictures of her riding various Harleys. As Van Zant wasn't allowed to do dangerous things before a fight, she had to step away from riding dirt bikes when she had one coming up. She enjoys watching extreme enduro such as Erzberg. BBC, who is nicknamed 12 Gauge, also enjoys hunting and fishing, which is also something she grew up doing with her father. Plus, her grandparents managed a gun club, and she set targets for people when she was younger. They slowly allowed her to start shooting, and she even made it on the pistol team in middle school. Number 1. Her Spending Paige Van Zandt's net worth has been estimated at $5 million. So now, we've more than concluded that PVC has made a lot of money outside the UFC. How does she spend it, though? As someone who is deep in the world of fashion and modeling, she obviously spends a lot on clothing and makeup. We've also established that she loves to ride and cruise motorcycles. As a result, we've seen her riding around on a couple of Harley Davidsons, ranging from cruisers to sports bikes. Van Zant and her husband are also about that pickup life, as shown by their Ford F-Series pickup truck. 
PVZ and her husband own a nice big house on the sunny side of Miami, Florida. Other than spending on vehicles and houses, Van Zant and her husband also like to live an adventurous life. They can often be seen traveling to different places, trying out and making different types of food together. So this video was an overview of Paige Van Zant's lifestyle and earnings. Paige is super successful, and judging by her cool factor and personality, that fame is not just because of her striking good looks. Paige is someone who has a large fan following, but she's just as hated by many MMA nerds as well. Despite being labeled as polarizing, she always has a smile on, despite having gone through a lot of bullying by her peers. However, those so-called peers are nowhere to be found today. PVZ is not the best MMA fighter, but she made it to the UFC and won a couple of fights there. She's super young and still has time to get better. The fact is that she's already a well-established brand, worth millions of dollars while living out her dream. And that's pretty cool. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. See you around!